let's take a look at the Immigration Reform and Control Act. The Immigration Reform and Control Act has two main requirements. First, all employers are prohibited from knowingly hiring or retaining on the job unauthorized aliens. Second, employers with four or more employees are prohibited from discriminating on the basis of national origin and citizenship. This protection against discrimination applies only to citizens and legal immigrants. Non-discrimination provisions were included in this law because Congress did not want employers to respond to the Immigration Reform and Control Act by excluding all foreigners. It does not conflict with the requirement that employers screen out undocumented workers, nor does it prohibit employers from preferring U.S. citizens for employment when two individuals are equally qualified. To avoid hiring or retaining persons ineligible to work in the United States, employers need to do a number of things. The following procedures apply only to people hired and not to all applicants. Within three days after a newly hired employee begins work, the employer must verify his eligibility to work in the United States. This is done for all newly hired workers and is not simply those whose employment eligibility is questioned. This verification is accomplished by viewing documents establishing eligibility to work by recording the types of documents viewed on the Employment Eligibility Verification I-9 form provided by the federal government. Documents can establish identity, eligibility to work, or both, and typically include a Social Security card, a driver's license, a birth certificate, a U.S. passport, or a permanent resident card. A full list of acceptable documents can be found on the back of the I-9 form. Other than certified copies of birth certificates, only original documents should be accepted. Though not required to investigate the authenticity of documents, these documents must reasonably appear on their face to be genuine. Retaining copies of documents can help prove that the decision to accept them was reasonable. I-9 forms and any copies of documents must be kept separate from employees' personnel files and retained for three years from the date of hire or one year after employment is terminated, whichever is longer. Thus, the minimum period of time that these forms must be kept is three years. Employment for more than two years extends this period. For much of its history, enforcement of the Immigration Reform and Control Act has been lax. Fake documents were readily available and government enforcement actions were infrequent and carried minimal sanctions for employers. Enforcement of the act became more serious around 2006. Initially, this entailed highly publicized raids on workplaces in which undocumented workers were rounded up for mass deportation. Another facet of the recent immigration enforcement environment has been an effort to encourage and require employers to use government databases to verify employment eligibility. E-Verify is a program under which employers can electronically access government databases to verify the eligibility of employees to work in the United States. The use of E-Verify is still voluntary and for most employers, but the, an executive order issued in 2008 made participation in the program mandatory for federal government contractors.